In the mid-70s, Nancy Ford and I had known that we wanted to write a show about all the changes that women had gone through. She and I had been going out on the road on tour promoting albums uh, that we'd done for RCA at that time, and they were albums of personal songs. And suddenly, one night, right in the middle of one of the songs, I thought, oh my God, I think I know how to write this show, and we're gonna call it, I'm getting my act together and taking it on the road. Keeping it set very much in its time in terms of the look of the of the show and the period and even the microphones. We're using sort of hardwired microphones because they wouldn't have had, you know, wireless handheld microphones then. So we wanted to feel very 1978. And I think what's interesting is, is that, you know, to see where we were culturally and socially in 1978 and to see how many years later there are lo there's a lot that, that's different and there's a lot that, that's the same. It's extremely relevant. I mean, it, it deals with some feminist issues, but mostly the kind of gender politics it addresses are about gender politics within relationships. And I find those still to be relevant. Um, it's just been a steady stream of women coming up to me saying, oh my gosh, you're doing this show, I love this show. They start singing songs, from the, women and men, singing songs from the show and uh, talking about their experience with the show. So I feel like I'm stepping into something that means a lot to a lot of people and is meaning a lot to, to me. I like it better today than I did 35 years ago. <laughs> It's funny. I, I hear it now and somehow I think it has held up well.